So this is my youngest daughter's beautiful, beautiful wedding dress that it is my pleasure and chore to clean. So the dress is in pretty good shape. Some of the dress, of course, has been drugged through a lot of dirt and grime. The photographer took her out in the twigs and the sticks, and she does have some chocolate cake that she picked up somewhere. But you can see that it's just dirty. And there's the chocolate cake. So what I'm going to do, um, since she just got married this past weekend, so I know that the underarms need to be washed. And I'm going to wash the whole dress. There's some delicate little beading, but not a whole bunch on this dress. It's pretty a pretty simple dress. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, I have a tub that I've made full of OxyClean mixed according to the package directions. And I'm going to dip the bottom of the dress into the OxyClean because I really don't want to get the chocolate cake and the dirt that is in the bottom of the dress on the whole dress um, when I wash because the rest of the dress is fairly clean. It just has, of course, um, I think my son-in-law uh, gave her a very good, uh, maybe, um, maybe there's some white cake on there somewhere, although you can't see it. I definitely want to clean it because he did very adequately smear her with cake and then she adequately smeared him with the chocolate. Um, so basically, of course, it's got some little makeup, um, stains, uh, that need to come off. Not much on the front, though, so that's good. So basically, the dress is in very good shape until we get to the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the bottom in soak and let all of those, the cake stains and whatnot, get out of the bottom of the dress before I put the whole dress into a tub of OxyClean. So here we go. The dress is soaking in the OxyClean just down at the bottom and I'm going to let it soak for a little bit and come back and tend to it shortly. And just so you can see the tag on this dress, it is from David's Bridal and it says that it is only professionally dry cleaned. So of course I'm taking a big risk. But when I went to check to get it cleaned, they were quoting me some very high prices and I just decided that I wasn't able to do that. So it is nylon and polyester and I guess that's it. Polyester and nylon. So it does have a little bit of cotton in there. Okay, so... Um, it should be washable. So it's been about an hour and a half since I put this in. And I went around the bottom of the dress just looking for the things that I had seen before. And the only thing that's really left is the chocolate cake I cannot even find, um, which is good. Um, I still have lots of little pieces of debris that I'm going to have to sit and hand pick out of here. And then once I get all the debris out of the bottom of the dress, then I am going to um, wash the whole dress with my the help of my husband. Because once I, I'm not going to soak the whole dress. I'm just going to wash the whole dress um, to get out all of the um, cake or uh, sweat stains, makeup stains that are in there. But I'm not going to soak the whole dress. I'm soaking the bottom because that was the dirtiest part. But I need my husband's help in just holding up the dress um, when I come to that. But first, I'm going to soak it a little bit longer, and I'm going to go around the whole base of the dress and try to pull out all the little refuse from twigs and leaves and all sorts of little natural things that get in the dress when you are um, taking the pictures. So I have worked on and off on the bottom of the dress. Um, just checking it and making sure I do see quite a few of little uh, tags and sticks and 
little piece of underbrush that are in the dress that I am now going to do surgery on with some tweezers and a pair of scissors to cut the ragged. Um, a lot of the damage is just frayed lace at the bottom with a bunch of um, underbrush in it. So I'm going to very, very carefully pick out what I can and then use the scissors to um, cut off some of that frayed lace at the bottom that has uh, been damaged. But I'm going to do it very, very carefully and try to hopefully have a dress that looks pretty new when I'm done. Um, after I finish picking through it, I will um, rinse the bottom portion and then lay the whole dress down in a brand new bath of OxyClean to make sure that I get the underarm sweat stains and the bodice uh, makeup stains. So I will definitely show you the end result shortly. Okay, I found a little spot here that is indicative of what I'm doing. You see this, this long tag of just frayed lace. And at the end of the tag is a little bit of under underbrush refuse. So basically what I'm doing is I'm going around the whole dress and cutting off this little bit of damage that's right at the bottom that is very often attached to a um, piece of uh, underbrush, refuse, undergrowth. Um, so I'm trimming all of that off the dress because it's certainly not going to ever go back to where it was supposed to be. It's just a little rip in the lace and I'm trimming all that off and with the, the refuse that caused the rip or tear. Um, I'm also right here because this is a seam right here um, that goes all the way up from the lace. I'm starting here and I'm marking this spot with this safety pin so that when I get done with my whole trip around the dress doing this uh, trim and repair, I will know where it was I started. So I'm doing that now. So there's my pin and my starting point. Because I have my dress hanging from the hanger, you can see my bathroom walls are under renovation right now. We've stripped all the wallpaper off and that's a work in progress. But because I'm sitting on the ground, I can see, I can just pull the part of the hem I'm working on up out of the tub out of the bucket and just work on that one little piece. I believe this was where the chocolate cake was, so I'm going to work on that area a little bit more. You can see how painstaking this is, just doing the best I can with the hem of the dress. There's a little piece of something that came out of the ground. But you can see that although I can grab it, it's attached to the lace. So that's where I do a little clip job here pulling this little strand. It's just attached by strings, little fuzz. So I just clip it so that I don't have to pull it out and damage the dress further. Okay, I have gone through the whole dress on the bottom and I am feeling very good about the bottom of the dress. Now I can guarantee you that a dry cleaner is not going to go through and clip and pick all of the refuse out and I can still see a few little bitty pieces but I'm sure I will pick those out in time but um, the, the bottom is in pretty good shape so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to refill the tub and um, get it cleaned out get all this old water that has uh, the chocolate cake etc in it I'm going to get the old water gone, get the new water, get new OxyClean in there, and then I'm going to dip the whole dress. But I'm going to um, wait. Well, I'll probably do it right now. And then I'll have to have my husband's help in rinsing the whole thing. I could definitely tell the water was dirty when I threw it out. So now I am again filling the tub, but with cold water. Now I have done everything cold water up until this point because the dress said um, low temperatures, so I just figured I would do it all in cold water. And so far I'm very pleased. The um, 
The water was definitely dirty when I dumped it out from just doing the hem of the dress, but that was where most of the damage was done. And it had been dragging through the dirt and the underbrush during the photo session. So for better or worse, the whole dress is in the water. And I have scrubbed a little bit on the underarms and the neck area where a little bit of makeup was. And I'm going to leave this for about 30 minutes and then I'm gonna come and turn the whole dress over um, and then maybe wash the underarm pits again and, and the makeup spot again, just to make sure that those come out. Let it sit for 30 more minutes and then I'm gonna start the rinse process. Slight change in plans. I found out I have to go to a funeral today and so I went ahead and scrubbed on the dress a little bit more and turned it over at 15 minutes. Okay, I am going to um, now empty the tub of the OxyClean water and I'm going to put in plain uh, water. You can see how just the water is dirty. Um, the OxyClean is doing its job. I do think, last time I checked here, I had just a couple of spots. It looked like somebody had spilled some cranberry juice punch on her dress. So I'm going to look for those little places and use a little bit of shout to make sure that I can get those spots out if they're still here um, as I do my next inspection. Ooh, this is pretty back-breaking work. I've been kind of acting like a wash machine here. This is all clean water. And I'm going to, um, basically, I'm, I'm just kind of pressing on the dress like this, making sure that it's all in the water because it's billowy. And I'm kind of, I don't know, acting like a little very gentle wash machine as I press the dress down into the water. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull the dress out of its first rinse. And I am going to inspect it for any spots. And then I'm going to put it in a final rinse. It really does feel like it's not very soapy now. Um, I will check the water again after the second rinse. If I feel like it needs another rinse, I'll give it another one. And then I will, of course, show you the end product when I get it all done. Very hang handy at this stage. I'm in, in between rinses, but I went ahead and hung the dress up so that I can inspect all the parts that I was a little bit concerned about. Remember, I thought that maybe some cranberry juice had been spilled down her back. Um, and so with it on this little hanger, see, I can just rotate it around because it's very heavy right now. And um, I can look and inspect all of the dress um, before I put it in the next rinse phase. My inspection, and it's going into rinse two right now. So the dress is looking lovely. It's going in for its third and last rinse. So I just want to make sure there's no residue of soap. I think my other daughter will be getting married within the next year, year and a half. But just in case, I want the dress to be uh, well taken care of, no matter how long it is that it sits unused. Um, it really is a beautiful dress. And um, I'm almost done. So this is the third and final rinse. Remember, all of this is cold water. Okay, so I have laid the dress out. I have got the back facing us now, but I've already taken care of making sure that the um, bra pieces inside the dress are properly um, sitting to dry so they don't dry weirdly. I have tried to plump the dress out nicely to where it will dry. I'll come back in and check on it, probably reposition it in a couple of hours, but I'm just going to see what happens to the dress. It certainly is looking very beautiful now.
just laying on a towel there with its nice little train. And of course, I've got it hanging on the little straps. I don't have it hanging on the lace at all. I just have the dress laying on here because this is holding up the weight of the dress on both sides. So you can see how I have plumped out the little bra pieces here to um, try to make them look like they're supposed to. And the front of the dress is lovely. And we'll just see what it looks like in a couple of hours here. So here is my morning's work. It's taken several hours from the time I started it. It's beautiful. I think I got all the little spots out. Who spilled cranberry juice on you, Abby? So this is the finished product and I am very pleased at how the dress turned out. I just can't have it hanging on the door here. That's the front of the dress. Everything turned out just beautifully. I can't find anything that was damaged. Here's the back of the dress. Again, I got all the spots out. It does not look like I damaged it at all by hand washing it and I am simply thrilled with the results. I saved a lot of money. So here's my little disclaimer. The dress was polyester and uh, nylon and cotton. So all of those fabrics are washable and I probably would not have tried this if they had not been washable fabrics, but um, because the lady at the laundromat uh, just kind of whispered in my ear, you can do it yourself, um, I'm really grateful to her because I just never even thought that I could wash a wedding dress, but I did. It turned out beautifully, and um, so I used OxyClean and uh, a little bit of Shout um, on spots and got them all out. So I hope you have fun cleaning your wedding dress or your daughter's wedding dress, um, maybe using the same method. This is Carla Marie. God bless your day.